to another day of Vida. Um, a couple of days ago I did a day of veganism because I was interested to find out what it was like to have a vegan diet for a day. Quick disclaimer, I'm not interested in going fully vegan. To be quite honest, I don't think I could because a lot of my favourite foods aren't meat but they're like cheeses and dairies and stuff like that. I have a friend who is a vegan um, and I admire her for giving up all the foods that I love and she sent me a day of recipes for me to try. For breakfast it was a smoothie bowl um, made with frozen fruit, soy milk, walnuts, hazelnuts, banana. It was very filling um, surprisingly and it was very 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 nice and I would happily have that for breakfast on a normal day. Basically all you had to do was fill up like a little blender with um, fruit, frozen fruit and a little bit of soy milk and throw in a couple of nuts in there for like the added thickness and protein and then just blitz it until it was slightly thicker than a smoothie and then pour it into a bowl, top with a chopped banana and walnuts and hazelnuts and stuff. And I don't think I can stress to you how good it was. <laughs> Um, 10 out of 10 would recommend um, and I'll put the recipe in the description. Okay so this is the breakfast we made. Can you tell we tried to make it look as aesthetic as possible? It's very delicious as good as it looks and the one criticism I would have is we made it the wrong texture but it was still delicious. I have to admit lunch was not as good as breakfast. <laughs> it was scrambled tofu and supposed to be mushrooms but I burnt the mushrooms and then didn't have any more. Oops. So we fried up some onions, tofu and herbs and spices and stuff and put them on toast with some salad. I just had my toast dry, which for starters probably wasn't the wisest idea because it was quite dry. We didn't marinate the tofu or anything, so it just kind of absorbed the oil that was in the pan and didn't really take any flavour from it. Okay, so this was the lunch. It wasn't the nicest, but you know, I remade it. It's fine. <laughs> But the day after my day of veganism, I remade the lunch, improved it. I didn't have any toast. I didn't have, I had like a quinoa salad left over from my dinner from the day of veganism. A vegan marinade um, for the tofu and then fried it off and it tasted a lot better. So this was the improved lunch with the leftover quinoa salad from my dinner and marinated tofu. Okay, so for dinner we had a vegan quinoa salad with chopped up vegetables, chopped up olives, avocado and stuff, and that was very nice. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend that. Um, and I had like corn on the cob with it. Did I say that? I don't know. Very easy to eat, just... I have that anyway normally, like, because it's vegetarian and my brother's a vegetarian, so... Okay, so this is the dinner we had, corn on the cob with a quinoa salad, it has like olives and avocado and stuff. I didn't actually use the sauce that's on the side, but the dinner itself didn't need it. And finally, I will talk about the little treats that we made. These were vegan cupcakes. They did not go to plan. <laughs> um, they did not taste very nice at all, and we actually ended up feeding them to the chickens. They were that bad. We didn't make them very well. We used a Betty Crocker chocolate mix, which is actually vegan. A lot of her mix, I think pretty much all of the mixes of Betty Crocker are vegan. It's just the ingredients that you add into it that aren't vegan, but you just change them and then it makes them vegan. This is where I think we went wrong. We substituted the eggs like we were supposed to with the water and the chia seeds. But we didn't realise that the rest of the mixture was water as well. Probably should have changed the water for soy milk or something because it was not nice at all. They were quite hard to swallow even though we put the Betty Crocker buttercream on which is also vegan which really surprised me actually. If I were to make them again I would probably get a different mixture that doesn't have water instead of milk in because I think that's where we went wrong because it was pretty much just water, a lot of water, a couple of tablespoons chia seeds, and mixture. Cupcakes looked better than they tasted, um, the buttercream was vegan as well, but the cakes were not nice. What have I learnt from my day of veganism? That tea with soy milk 
pretty much tastes exactly the same and it's very very good substitute that vegan breakfast the vegan breakfast that i had was one of the best pe breakfasts i have ever had and would definitely have again that tofu needs to be marinated or it will not taste as much dinner as expected was lovely because i've had it before i'm not interested in going vegan as i said i would miss cheeses and stuff and dairy products too much um i possibly could go vegetarian but we'll see so i hope you enjoyed today's day of vida i'll attach all the recipes in the description in case you yourself want to try them and i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you tomorrow goodbye